my dear students. My name is Nilfara Himjanova. I hope you are doing well and I welcome you to our video lesson. Please come closer and get ready to make some notes when it's needed. Assalamu alaikum hurmatli talabalar. Umid qilaman ki hammangiz sog' salomatsiz. Video darsimizga marhamat. Our theme is rice. Mavzuimiz sholli guruch haqida. We know all about the rice, how it looks like, how it tastes, how it's grown. But today we are going to learn all this information in English. Biz hammamiz sholli guruch haqida ko'p ma'lumotga egamiz. Uni qanday ko'rinishini, qanday turlari borligini, qanday o'stirilishini bilamiz. Bugun shu ma'lumotlarni ingliz tilida o'rganamiz. Let's have a look at the aspects which we are going to learn with you during our presentation. Notion. Here we are going to learn how to create our own notion about rice. Demek ki, o'zimiz mustaqil tushuncha hozir qilishni o'rganamiz. We'll look through the types of rice regarding the shape and color. Demek sholli guruchni turlari va shakli, turlarini shakli va rangiga qarab o'rganamiz. We'll get some information about growing and harvesting procedures. Demek sholli guruchni o'stirish va hosilini yig'ish jarayonlari bilan tanishamiz. We'll get some information about cultivation of rice. Sholini yetishtirish to'g'risidagi ma'lumotlarni ko'ramiz. At the latest aspects, we'll see the usage of rice for food and some interesting information about rice. Yakunida sholli guruchni ozuq sifatida qo'llanishi va unga ta'luqli qiziq informatsiya bilan tanishamiz. Let's have a look at the notions which are given here. We'll step uh, one by one in order to make some imagination about rice. Well, rice is a grain or cereal like wheat or oats. Demek sholli guruch bu bug'doy yoki suliga o'xshagan don. When we say about grain, it's a whole seed which is planted, harvested and processed for consumption. Biz don haqida gapiradigan bo'lsak, bu o'simlikni butun urug'i bo'lib, u o'stiriladi, hosil yig'ib olinadi va iste'mol uchun tayyorlanadi. Rice is a seed harvested from the long grass-like stalk of the Rhizus sativa plant or the Rhizus glabrima plant. Demak, sholli guruch bu uzun poyali o'simlikning urug'i bo'lib, u Osiyo sholisi uchun Rhizus sativa va Afrika sholisi uchun Rhizus glabrima nomi bilan yuritiladi. As a cereal grain, it's the most widely consumed staple food for a large part of the world's human population, especially in Asia. Demek sholli guruch dunyodagi insoniyat tomonidan eng ko'p iste'mol qilinadigan mahsulot turiga kiradi, ayniqsa Osiyo davlatlarida. It's the third highest worldwide production after sugarcane and maize. Demek dunyoda yetishtirilishi bo'yicha shakar qamish va makajo'xordan keyin 3-o'rinda turadigan mahsulot And the last notion, rice is a food grain that contains a number of vitamins and minerals that are extremely healthy for us. Demek sholli guruch, organizmimiz uchun kerakli bo'lgan vitamin va minerallarga boy mahsulot hisoblanadi. And now, I want to ask you to make your own notion about rice with the help of these statements. Please do it by yourself. And we go on. Here we see the types of uh, rice regarding the color of rice. Well, we know just white and brown types of uh, rice, which we can meet at our markets and supermarkets and use in our daily life. But there are the other colors which are widely spread around the world. So the world knows red, gold, black and even purple type of rice. These colors are signified with the pigmentation of outer layer. Demek sholli guruchni turlarini rangiga qarab ko'radigan bo'lsak, biz siz bilan uni oq va jingar rang tusdagi ranglarini bilamiz. Bozorlarimizda, magazinlarimizda uni xarid qilamiz va ishlatamiz. Lekin sholli guruchni dunyoda boshqa ranglari ham bor. Bu demek qizil, tilla rang, hattoki qora va siyoh ranglari ham bor. Bu demek sholli guruchni ustki qobig'ini pigmentatsiyasi bilan belgilanadi. If we say it rice uh, from the point of shape, we can differentiate it into long grain, medium grain and short grain. Demek sholli guruchni shakliga qarab ajratadigan bo'lsak, u uzun donli, o'rtacha va mayda donli bo'lishi mumkin. If we say about growing, we should say that methods of uh, cultivation of uh, rice might be different depending on its location, but still hand work is kept as a traditional method of rice cultivation. 
The farmer, before raising the rice, they uh, prepare the field by blowing, fertilizing, and smoothing the land. The seedlings, which appear in 30, 50 days, are transport, transferred to uh, prepared fields by hand. Shalli Guruchino Osterish Mirklarna Gapradi Yambusik, Una Trulara Judeam Halmacha, Dimik, Una Jolash Yakara Pambolo Bolanda. Likan Hosrichi, Una Undokolan Ladian Kol Mirnata, Anna Navi, Mirta Soplanada. Dimik Firmirle, Shalli Guruchino Osterstan Alden, Yer Maidon and Terla Bolshada, Una Ungeshlo Birshada, Urla Shad, Vatix La Bolshada. Uttis Ilikunda Unchakan Kochetlan, Kol Yordamada, Dimik. Well, after crop establishment, the rice uh, can come to its maturity within 100 and 150 days, depending on its variety. This time usually comes to midsummer or early autumn time, and farmers, with the use of combines, cut the stalks and thresh the grains. Then they dry it very carefully and send for storage. The big shawl guruchne otkhaz ganankin u navagi kura use usually kunde yetlep shada. Bu vaqt ko'pincha yoz o'rtalariga yoki kuzi boshlariga to'g'ri keladi. Fermerlar kombayn yordamida sholi poyalarni kesib olishadi, dollarni ajratib olishadi va yaxshilab quritib, uni saqlashga qo'yishadi. There are more than 40,000 varieties of rice to be exist for cultivation and rice cultivation is well adapted to the countries and uh, regions um, where the labor cost is very low but uh, water supply is high. Actually, the rice can be cultivated anywhere on steep hills or mountain areas as well. Demek shol gurushni 40 ming dan ziyod navlari bor deb aytiladi. Shol gurushni yetishtirish ko'pincha Kol mehnati arzon, lekin suv ta'minoti yaxshi bo'lgan davlat va regionlarga moslashgan bo'ladi. Umuman olganda shol guruchni hamma yerda o'stirish mumkin. Bu tekisli bo'lishi mumkin yoki tog'li hududlarda ham o'stirish mumkin. The plant grow um, will appear up to 1 to meters tall. Uh, occasionally it happens because of soil fertility or its variety. Demek sholi nipoyasi bo'yiga 1-2 metrgacha ko'tarilishi mumkin. Bu demek yerni unumdorligi va uni navigga bog'liq bo'ladi. The edible side which is grain, caryopsis, it's all here. Our grains they can come up to 5-12 mm long and 2-3 mm thick. And of course it can come in different shapes and colors about which we have talked with you above. Demek ki, shol guruchni istemolga yaroqli urug'i bu don hisoblanadi. U demek 5-12 mm uzunlikda va 2-3 mm qalinlikda bo'lishi mumkin. Albatta, uni har xil turdagi ranglari va shakllari kelishi mumkin. Biz bu haqda siz bilan yuqorida gaplashdik. Well, when the rice is uh, grown, harvested and processed for consumption, it's time to use it in our cuisine. Actually, we can use the rice for main meal, for garnish or some snacks and etc. If we remember our national meal, which is pilaf, it's also made of rice. It's very delicious, we remember this. And uh, why we eat rice? We eat rice because it's gluten-free food, it has low calories, it's cholesterol-free, it has no fat and uh, it's well suited for any diet and it tastes great. Demek sholi guruch tayyor bo'lgandan keyin, hosil yig'ilgandan keyin, iste'mol uchun tayyor holda bo'lgandan keyin biz uni bemalol taomnomamizga qo'yishimiz mumkin. Demek guruchni biz asosiy taom sifatida, garnir sifatida yoki qo'shimcha taom sifatida qo'llashimiz mumkin. Agar biz o'zimizni milliy taomimiz osh palovini eslasak, u ham guruchdan tayyorlanadi va juda mazali hisoblanadi. Demek nima uchun guruchni iste'mol qilamiz? Unda gluten yo'q, uni tarkibida yog' yo'q, unda xolesterin yo'q, kaloriyasi juda past. U har qanday dietaga to'g'ri kelishi mumkin va u juda ham mazali. Well, here I prepared some information about uh, rice. Uh, have a look please at the pictures which I've shown here. If we start from the first picture, here we can see some liquid which is closely connected with rice. Can you guess what kind of uh, drink it might be? 
Of course, you have guessed already. This is sake, which is a Japanese alcohol drink. Demek ki, şu an Guruç haqıda qızqarlı malumatla gəvətədə gəmbəsək, rəsimlərimiz bizgə yördəm çıxı soplanadı. Birinci rəsimə qarəsək, bu yördə suyuqlik verilgən, bu xam şu an bilən, şu an Guruç bilən yaqından bağlıq. Demek ki, siz bilgən bolşiyiz mümkün, bu içimdəkinin nəmi sakı, bu yəbonlar tamamdan təyərlənədə gəm alkogol içimləkidir. Let's have a look at the next picture where we can see some jewelry product. It might be earrings, bracelet or some kind of necklace. What is interesting and connection between rice and jewelry product? Well, uh, besides using the rice uh, in jewelry products, uh, designers can put your name on the grain and make this product a unique and unusual gift for you. Isn't it amazing? Of course it is. Demek ikinci rasımda karasik, zargarlık buyumu koruşumuz mümkün. Bu zargarlık buyumunu antikaligi numada. Demek ki zargarlı oz buyumları gibi şahlı görüşünü işletip gene kalmazsan, öyle küçük yine donge sizin namingiz niye yazıp koyuşluğu mümkün. Ve şu bulan bu buyumunu sizge mağsus ve original soğuğa kılıp takdim kılışları mümkün. Acayip doğru mu? Well, if we see at the third picture, we can see some pictures on situation on the mountain. If you uh, see on each field, you can guess that these fields are pretended to be grown for rice. So, these fields, this area called rice terraces. Exactly this picturesque place is called Bano rice terraces, which are situated in Philippines, which are already 2,000 years old, and uh, it's still considered as an eighth wonder of the world. Demek ki, üçüncü rəsimdə qarəyib gəm bu səyək, bu acayib çirəli rəsimdə də şəhəli qırışlı maydanları təsvirləngən. Aynən bu rəsimdəki maydanlı bano şəhəli tirasələrdə badalədi. Bu şəhəli tirasələrə gə 2000 ildən ziyad vaxt bu gəm. Bu, Filipin toqlarda cəhələşkən və xəlis geçə bu maydanlı, bu tirasələ demək ki, dünyanın 8-ci mucizəsi xamdə bu soplanadı. Here we finish our presentation and it's time to give you some work for doing at home. Please, with the help of this presentation, fill the BBB table. Demek, if you want to talk about the presentation, I'm going to talk about the BBB table. 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 As for the second task, please express your opinion from the point of your educational direction. Demek ki, oku yönelişlisinden gelip çıkan halde, şöyle kuru çıkakı da malumat bir şey yazın sorayım. Here I finish our video lesson. I wish you good luck and take care. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.